What if we told you that Google has been lying to us about its artificial intelligence, AI achievements? Has it been exaggerating and manipulating its AI research to fool us into believing that its AI systems are smarter and better than they really are? Well, that's exactly what we are going to tell you today, but don't worry. We will also share some of the other AI news that happened this week. In the world of AI, one of the most significant and controversial events of the year was the dismissal of Timnit Jibru, a renowned AI ethicist and researcher who co-led Google's ethical AI team. Jibru was removed from her position in December 2020 after she refused to withdraw a research paper that criticized Google's large language model, known as Palm 2, and its potential dangers to society and the environment. This act sparked a wave of protests from the AI community as well as Google's employees and shareholders who accused the company of censorship, discrimination, and retaliation. The incident exposed the lack of diversity, transparency, and accountability in Google's AI research and development. It also highlighted the need for better ethical practices and stricter oversight in the rapidly growing field of AI. In February 2021, Google fired another AI ethicist and researcher, Margaret Mitchell, who co-founded the ethical AI team with Jibru. Mitchell was fired after using an automated script to search her Google email account for evidence of discrimination against Jibru. This move further strained the relationship between Google and its AI workers, as well as the wider AI community. In an attempt to address the criticism and the pressure caused by the AI ethics scandal, Google announced a series of changes to its AI research and review policies in April 2021 the company stated that it would establish a new AI Research Review Board, a new AI Research Integrity Office, and a new AI Research Publication Portal to enhance the quality, oversight, and transparency of its AI research. However, many people were left unsatisfied with Google's actions and questioned the sincerity and effectiveness of its reforms. To counter the unethical and harmful practices of Google and other AI companies, some former and current members of the ethical AI team, as well as other AI experts and activists, established a new initiative called Whistleblower AI. This initiative aims to expose and challenge any unethical or harmful practices in the field of AI and promote better ethical standards and practices. In recent times, the disclosure of Google's self-driving car project, named Waymo, has stirred up a lot of controversy and public outrage. Waymo is a major player in the field of autonomous vehicles and has been testing and deploying its self-driving cars across various states and countries. However, the publication of journalist Levi Tillemont's book, titled The AI Race, How America Can Win the Global Competition for the Future of Transportation, has exposed some disturbing revelations about Waymo's methods for achieving success. According to Tillemont, Google has been deceitful and untruthful about the capabilities, safety, and readiness of its self-driving cars. The company has allegedly manipulated data, media, and laws to gain an unfair advantage over its competitors and critics. Moreover, the book claims that Google has put its human drivers, who were hired to monitor and intervene in case of emergencies or errors, at risk. The drivers were reportedly forced to work long hours under stressful and hazardous conditions. Furthermore, Google has been accused of firing or harassing those who raise concerns or reported issues. The publication of Tillmanan's book has triggered a wave of criticism and condemnation against Google and Waymo. It has raised questions about the accountability and reliability of the company and its technology. Furthermore, it has prompted investigations and lawsuits from the authorities and other stakeholders who are demanding more transparency and accountability from Google and Waymo. In May 2021, Google's I.O. Developer Conference showcased its newest AI products and services, highlighting its power and influence in the AI field. Google presented a range of impressive AI features and applications, such as Lambda, an advanced natural language understanding system that can converse on any topic MUM, a multi-model understanding system that can answer complex queries across text, images, and videos, and music LM, a music generation system that can create original songs and melodies. 
In addition to its new AI innovations, Google also announced several updates and improvements to its existing AI products and services, including Google Photos, Google Maps, Google Assistant, Google Lens, and Google Workspace. The company claimed that its AI technologies could enhance user experience, productivity, and creativity, and help address some of the world's social and environmental challenges. However, the new AI features and applications also revealed some of the challenges and risks of the technology and the company. Some critics expressed concerns about the reliability, accuracy, and ethics of the Lambda and Music LM systems and their potential negative impacts on society and culture. Meanwhile, some of Google's existing AI products and services, such as Google Photos and Google Maps, were accused of violating user privacy, security, and rights. Google's AI domination also raised concerns and fears about the company's monopoly and hegemony in the AI industry. Critics warned about the lack of diversity, competition, and regulation in the AI field and the potential threat to human autonomy, dignity, and well-being. As a result, many people called for more oversight, accountability, and resistance from the public and policymakers. The following stories also highlighted various recent AI-related news stories that have caught the attention of many. While Google has been a significant contributor to the AI field, other companies are making headlines as well. The article discusses Geoffrey Hinton, an AI pioneer who recently quit his job at Google, to speak about the potential dangers of AI technology. Hinton has expressed concerns about the possibility of creating super-intelligent machines that could outsmart humans and the ethical issues of using AI for military purposes. Meta, the company formerly known as Facebook, has announced an AI sandbox for advertisers, which helps them create alternative opies, generate backgrounds through text prompts, and crop images for Facebook or Instagram ads. The AI sandbox is part of Meta's Creative Studio, a platform that enables advertisers to design, test, and optimize their ads across Meta's apps and services. The company claims that AI features can help advertisers save time and resources and create more diverse and engaging ads for their audiences. Meta has been investing heavily in AI research and development, particularly in computer vision, natural language processing, and reinforcement learning. Facebook AI Research has introduced a new dataset and challenge for natural language understanding called DynaBench. This is a dynamic and interactive benchmark that allows users to create and assess NLU models in real time by generating and annotating data on the fly. FAR also launched DynaLab, a platform that enables researchers to submit and test their NLU models on DynaBench and compare their results with other participants. This development aims to foster more collaboration and innovation in the NLU community and facilitate more efficient and effective NLU research and development. OpenAI has released an upgraded version of its large-scale language model, GPT-3, called GPT-3. 175B, it is the most powerful language model ever created with 175 billion parameters and 45 terabytes of data. This new version includes several enhancements, such as better performance, accuracy, and diversity, as well as less bias, toxicity, and repetition. OpenAI states that GPT-3 175B can generate high quality and diverse texts for a wide range of domains and tasks, such as natural language generation, summarization, translation, question answering, and dialogue. OpenAI offers access to GPT-3 via its OpenAI API, enabling developers to build applications using the model. IBM has developed a new AI system called Attica, Alzheimer's disease identification from conversational audio that can detect and diagnose Alzheimer's disease from speech. Attica is a deep neural network that can analyze speech patterns and features of people to predict their cognitive status and risk of Alzheimer's disease. IBM claims that Attica can achieve up to 71% accuracy in detecting and diagnosing Alzheimer's disease and provide a cost-effective, non-invasive way of screening and monitoring the condition. Attica is based on data from the Framingham Heart Study, a long-running study that tracks various aspects of health in more than 5,000 people and their families. 
Amazon has rolled out StyleSnap, a new AI service that can help customers find and purchase clothes that match their style and preferences. StyleSnap is a feature in the Amazon app that allows customers to take or upload a photo of an outfit or clothing item they like and receive recommendations of similar or matching items available on Amazon. Amazon claims that StyleSnap can assist customers in discovering new styles and trends and provide a personalized and convenient shopping experience. StyleSnap uses computer vision and generative AI to analyze images and suggest products that match the style, color, pattern, and fit of clothing. Anthropic, an AI research company founded by former OpenAI researchers, has expanded the context window for Claude, its flagship text-generating AI model. The model's context window has been increased from 9,000 tokens to 100,000 tokens, the context window refers to the text that the model considers before generating additional text, while tokens represent raw text. Anthropics claim that a larger context window could enable more coherent and consistent text generation and support longer and more complex tasks like summarizing a book or writing a speech. And that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed watching it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. We have more amazing videos coming up, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you next time.